Rick, there's a lot of concern about high household debt levels in Canada and what's going to happen to people when interest rates rise. But you're not that worried about rising interest rates and the impact on the indebted. Why is that? About two-thirds of this indebtedness you're talking about is mortgage debt. And studies show that you go back 30 years or so, there is no relationship between rising interest rates and mortgage defaults, even in 1981 when we had 18% mortgage rates. So when people had to renegotiate their mortgages back in the early 80s and they had to negotiate at these horrible high rates, you're telling me that there was no notable spike higher in defaults? Well, the average default rate in Canada over the last 20 years has been 0.4%. You compare that to American default rates, which hit 8% recently. Really? Um, so Canadians pay their their mortgages. Are they putting the mortgage ahead of their other debt? Is that what's keeping defaults on side? Yeah, I would say, first of all, the banks do a good job and other lenders of making sure that there's a cushion in place for you to make your mortgage payments. Canadians are obsessed about paying the mortgage payments. The interest is not deductible, so there's every incentive for them to pay down their mortgages. All right, so just to close it off here, it sounds like rising interest rates might pinch the household, but it's not going to cause our housing market to collapse. That's right. I mean, there's always a small group of people that will be impacted, but not in terms of a larger economic sense. Okay, thank you, Rick.